Okay guys, I just thought I'd give you a, an update. I'm just heading into my cabin. Um, I pulled my uh, all my traps out two weeks ago, I guess. Now. Yeah, it was last week, so I guess one week. Um, I didn't catch anything on that last check day. There was nothing and it was shitty going and I just pulled all my traps, so. I am done trapping now for the year. I don't think I'm going to do anything in the spring here. Because I just looked at the fur prices there on the uh, March 8th sale at uh, FHA and uh, like the prices are terrible so I'm not any uh, interest in trapping anymore. I'll just leave whatever for seed for next year so I can trap a little bit next year. Uh, I should be into my cabin here in a bit and I'll give you a little tour of that. When I get in there I'm going to drop a few beavers off and I think that'll be it for the day. I'm going to cut some wood. Try to get a cord or two cut, maybe. So, um, I guess we'll see you down the trail, guys, and we'll sh I'll show you my cabin next. I guess we'll see you then. Okay, I just thought I'd do a little video. I just made it up to my camp, and uh, I just thought I'd show you what I got going on. There's uh, that's where my road continues on. Here's this, I kind of standing in my semi yard. There's my I have my old truck and my tractor up here. And uh, I built a road in here. It goes down the hill there. That's my old fish shack there. Sorry, I'm falling through the snow here. So there's my camp. It's uh, 16 by 28. Little off-grid thing. Semi-finished. Uh, I still got work to do on it, but I'm in a huge rush to get it done. And I brought my old safari in today. Figured I'd... Uh, Try something different today instead of bringing my big sled. So, this is what the front of the camp looks like. I got uh, wood stove, solar, and of course a satellite dish so I can watch uh, my hockey games and sports, whatever I want to watch, I guess. When I'm up here in deer season or trapping at, in the summer or whatever. Um, what I got, so I got an ease trough and I collect uh, rainwater right there. I don't have it hooked up right now, but. That's how I get my water. So, down below here, it kind of overlooks this marsh. I've been clearing the trees out little by little. Um, I dug a pond down there. I rented an excavator and dug a pond down there last year. Little small one, it's not very big. But And I started a little food plot, so that's where it looks down below. This, you can see, if I got rid of those trees, you can see probably 600 yards that way. But been quite a few moose around too so I actually just found a little shed in the middle of the road coming in so that was cool I'm gonna keep it I found a few and uh, I'll shut this off and I'll uh, show okay. you the inside so we're at the inside of the cabin as you can see this is the big windows and the kitchen area that looks down there it's pretty nice it's cleaning up and this is my kitchen I'm still working on it I'm gonna build the uh, Laura well, cabinets here in the next few weeks and uh, got a nice little table in here and a few little racks around. I actually found that. That was on the property. That big I saw that bowl actually. And I found a shed in the winter. Um, just got a little wood stove. I want to uh, put some tile and stuff around that or some I was thinking some uh, flagstone of some sort. And uh, there's a turkey I shot last year. I kind of just screwed around mounting that myself, so I think I did an alright job in that. And that's uh, another little shed I found here. Uh, that's the main part. And this is going to be a bathroom in here one day. And this is my bedroom. I normally have a TV hooked up there, but it's in my garage right now. That's my bed. And you can see, I can see out. Down the marsh, straight out my bed, bedroom window, I guess, and then I have a side window. So, for uh, my family that's never seen the cabin, here it is. That's uh, pretty much it. And my whoever else wants to see it, I guess. And there's just a little switch uh, in uh, the bedroom that I flick to turn on the power, and I have solar power, so I have lights and uh, propane stove, and that's pretty well it. I just uh, actually finished putting laminate in last uh, 
fall, me and the old girl came in and did that. So that was cool. It looks getting nicer in here anyways. Once I get the bathroom in here, I have a, that's my shower I made. So I just want to put a little shower stall in there. And then I can uh, have a shower, just uh, put it up high and uh, heat the water up, put it in there and you can have a little shower, which is pretty sweet. Okay, uh, that's pretty much the tour. Um, I'm just going to go uh, put a couple of beaver carcasses out at my spot and I will uh, show you that. I hope to bear hunt there. I doubt there's any bears out yet, but at least uh, I just have so many it's getting warm. Uh, they're starting to go bad, so I figured I'd throw them out. So we'll see you down the trail, I guess, guys. Okay, so I got in here. This is my dog, in case uh, anyone's running. This is my little buddy. Remington, his name. Rem! There you go, little beagle. He's my hunting dog, trapping buddy. Comes out everywhere with me. So that's him. Um, so I did. I got, uh, I just threw the beavers out here. And then I just threw some brush over it and I brought them in a little box. So I threw that over top of it to um, keep the birds off it. And hopefully the fishers, I like it just all the grease and blood whenever it gets warm. Just to soak into the ground. That'll just get the smell around in case the bears start coming around before I get baiting. And uh, I'm sure the coyotes and stuff will find it soon. Um, there's my stand. I made that. Um, so that's where I'll be sitting, and this is kind of a uh, it's a good spot for bears. You can see, I guess I should sew this. Look at the moose been in here. Good trail over there. They've been all they've been wintering in uh, my bush here. I normally have a salt lick right here, which is gone. You can see what's left of it, just on those blue cobalt salt blocks. You buy it TSC for like eight bucks and last the whole year. So they uh, they. I probably got three of them on the property, I think. And uh, yeah, the moose like it. And uh, anyways, so it's like a spruce swamp all around here. This is like uh, the high spot. It's pretty well surrounds it all the way around. Thick uh, spruce, hemlock. You get up in here and there is some, uh, some good uh, hardwood beach and maple and stuff. But I'm trying to thin it out. My buddy, uh, Logged it a few years ago for me over that way. There's logging trails over there, which I'm going to eventually make into a road so I can get my tractor back here. Because I want to pull some of the wood out of here. And I'd like to make a little field right through here. It's fairly open over there. You can't really tell from here. But just got to knock down a few trees. Probably get some of the hemlock milled up. And some firewood. Get a little excavator in here and uh, pull the stumps and level it. And this should be a pretty good spot one day. But that's probably years from now. Um, so... The old safari is getting hot as well, so I uh, got the lid off for her to cool her down, threw a little bit of snow on her. So it's like 6 degrees already, it's only 10 o'clock. So, Anyways, that's uh, what I got going on here. So hopefully three weeks from now I'll probably start baiting the bears and hopefully uh, get one this spring. So we'll uh, see you down the trail guys. All right, I just got done cutting wood for the day. I got probably twice this much down the trail. So that's a pretty good day for me. I've only been cutting wood for like three hours, but pretty hot now. It's like six degrees and it's getting that warm, too warm for me to work. So I'm uh, gonna head home before the safari doesn't make it because it's a fan cooled and it's not great in the warm weather. So I'm uh, gonna be working my way out and the dog here so I'm getting got probably five cord cut at the cabin and uh, hoping to get a good start on uh, next year's wood so I just thought I'd show you when I uh, when I'm cutting wood I just started uh, doing this hinge cutting I just do it to some of these small ones after I'm done cutting the, uh, the trees down they stay alive and the uh, deer and moose can feed on them all year so I did quite a bit uh, Probably about 600 yards that way. Um, I'll show that some another video where I've done a lot and it's actually starting to grow um, in the summer. It looks pretty cool. So just opening it up. There's not a lot of feed in here for the moose and deer, so I'm just giving them some stuff to feed on. They'll feed on all these tops and stuff that I got cut too. So 
A lot of the trees I cut down are just crap. They're uh, starting to die or rotten. It's, it's so thick in here that it needs to be thinned out. So I'm trying to just thin it out and I leave the nice trees. I've got a tree right there. It's not very big right now, but that'll be a nice tree one day. He's got some room. Probably eventually one day going to cut that yellow birch down. I wish that thing was straight, but that thing is a firewood tree. So nothing real great, but I do have there's some nice cherries. Like that cherry there. I mean, you can get definitely 30 feet of lumber out of it. It's a nice straight cherry, so I want to cut that down this year because I want to make a table for my cabin out of it. It's probably 16 inches across at the base. It's just a good sized cherry, so that's cool. One day, anyways, we'll. Uh, See you next time guys and thanks for watching.